Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to part two of the drive around that uh, I promised I would do. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm starting now at the very beginning of Soy Bacow. And what we'll do is we'll head up Soy Bacow. I'll go up some of the side streets, show you the nightlife areas up there. Uh, then we'll have a wander around Tree Town, see how we get on the time, etc. But I'll show you what's going on around the city in this area. So uh, if you look on the map now, you'll see exactly where I am. I'm just opposite Tukkom. Uh, on the junction here, Padia, Dai, uh, South Patea Road, and I'm gonna head in now into Soy Bacal, and uh, we'll have a drive around and a wander around and see what's going on. Uh, fingers crossed it won't rain, sun's out now, it's, it's quite good, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be okay, and uh, we're gonna have a look and see what's happening, and uh, who knows, you might meet or jog a few of your old memories and go, oh, I know this place, I used to go there, I used to go there, and hopefully you'll be back in the not too distant future. Okay, so let me just put my helmet on, and uh, away we go, and we'll see what's going on today here in our beautiful city of Patea. All right, so let's head off. And the market here, this market, uh, the Soy Bacal market, very, very good, very busy. And uh, you get a lot of food stalls here, a lot of clothes. And uh, they've recently revamped this. And remember I was saying to you in the other video yesterday about the fact that uh, the city's undergoing huge, huge changes. Well, this is one of the changes that I'm referring to. They've made this much better now. They've made it a lot more user friendly. Before it was huge, big plastic drapes. And uh, when it rained, you just get absolutely hammered with rain. It was awful, awful. Uh, but they've changed all that now, so that's good news. So this end of Bacal, um, I think you have to come here to actually experience it, to get a feel for the area. Uh, even though I'm gonna drive around, it's not really gonna do it a huge amount of justice to be, able, to be honest with you. There are some great little bars here. There's a lot of massage places here. Uh, so there really is you know, a lot for you to come and explore. It's not just up in the tree tan area, although that seems to be one of the most popular areas right now. And incidentally, here you go, now this is new, and before you ask me, I have no idea, no idea, but there you are, there's one of these new cafes. We seem to be getting a lot of these popping up now, obviously it's been legalized, um, but please guys, don't ask me anything about it, because I truthfully have not got an igloo, what is going on, I don't know how it works, I don't even know what it's about, uh, it's something I've never participated in, so I can't help you on there. Uh, but what I can help you with is here, the Black Snake Club. Uh, go in there and see uh, Marco. Marco's a great guy. And uh, go and say hello to him. And Stan, Stan, the owner, he owns Club Sin and Club Fate. And just here on the right-hand side, there you go, that's Marissa's place, the VIP Massage. I did an interview with her not so long back. She's now got two places. And uh, yeah, very good. Unfortunately, I can't take you in here, but that's Action Street. Uh, some of these bars have started to slowly show some signs of life, but not a lot's going on, to be honest with you guys. Not a huge amount. Um, but anyway, that's, that, that's an area to come down and check out. And those of you that like your golf, there's the Lynx Golf Society across the road there. There's a lot of golf societies here. Uh, if, you like, if you like playing your golf, you, you're always close to a golf society in some format. And uh, you can go off, play a game of golf, come back, have a few beers and some food. And uh, it's a lovely day out. It's not something I'd take, uh, take a great deal in because uh, I'm absolutely rubbish at golf. So uh, it's pointless, pointless me to even contemplating trying to play it. But Ian, Ian's very, very good. Uh, he's a single figure handicapper and uh, yeah, very, very good. And uh, I talk about the exchange bars. Remember the, uh, the yellow ones, the exchange, TT exchange? Generally speaking, they give a very, very good rate. So if you are around the city, uh, look for the TT exchange. And the one I always refer to is the one not a million miles away from the Avenue Shopping Mall. Uh, they give a great rate in there. And just across the road here, there you go, that's Nicky's. And uh, very, very well respected for their food. Uh, have a very, very good reputation. So if you are looking for some food, go in there, Nicky's, that's a really good place. And this one here, this is called Red Hot and Blue. Uh, if you follow us on Discord, You'll see in Discord, I put a lot of their photos of the girls that are working there, so you can check that out. And uh, yeah, go in there. All right, so what we'll do is, there's not much to show you just further ahead, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a little left turn. This is Soy 15. This is heading down towards Corando's. Uh, Corando's, go and see Rocky. Really, really nice guy. Incredibly good food. I can't go much further down, as you're going to see now. They've blocked it off. Uh, again, this is all part of their, uh, of their uh, refurbishment to the city. Look at this guy. Fair play, dude. He's going some. What am I doing? I'm doing 20 mile an hour and he's in front of me. Fair play to that. Oh. That's 19 miles an hour faster than I can go. But he's giving it some. Good on you, son. Good on you. 
Right, let me just pull over here because I can't go any further. And uh, oh, uh, he's given up now. Well, not given up, but fair play to him. Uh, there's the Centaur at Zor Hotel. Uh, if you are looking for a very central location, and right up ahead there, seeing the distance, see the crane working away. Uh, they're drilling the holes and they're doing all the underground uh, um, underground um, drainage like they've been doing everywhere. And I'll just show you up here. There you go. This is Corando's. And uh, poor Rock, he's had to put these plastic sheets in to stop all the dust and the dirt going into his bar. Uh, but go in there. You know, they're, uh, it's a really good place. Rock is a lovely guy. Uh, they have some really, really lovely hostesses in there. Very, very pretty. And the food is exceptionally good. It's pizzas. Oh, man, they are fantastic. Right, so let's head back up. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a little nip around uh, Soy Boomerang. And Soy Boomerang is a really up and coming place now. It's gaining more and more popularity with the expats and with the tourists. And for all the right reasons as well, for all the right reasons. And incidentally, talking about food, here's the hideaway. That's the hideaway uh, guest house and bar. Uh, pop in there. Very, very good food. Good reputation. Good reputation. So have a wander in there. So this is Soy Boomerang. Uh, soy Boomerang, like I say, it's, it's a, a nighttime zone. There's a lot of uh, bars, a lot of closed door bars here. So you've got like the Naughty Club, you've got Heaven Above. They've just undergone a massive refurbishment, done a fantastic job, really have done a great job. It's really nice in there, so pop in there. Uh, you've got uh, uh, Screamers just here. Go in there and see Timmy. He's an absolutely diamond geezer. Funny as you like, really is funny as you like. And down here on the left-hand side, there you go, you've got Club Fate in the far distance. And uh, go in there and uh, the girls will make sure you are adequately entertained. And talking of entertaining, this place, who remembers Golden Time back in the day? Uh, Golden Time so, uh, sadly closed and uh, a lot of things had to happen. That's now changed, you can see there, look, it's now called Playgirls. And I believe they followed the same format. Uh, it's certainly got a lot of girls here at the moment and it's very busy. So uh, again, you know, check that one out. You won't be disappointed in there. So that is Playgirls. And right opposite, if you do enjoy yourself too much and you might be having a heart attack, don't worry guys, you ain't got far to come. There's the hospital. So along this little part here, there's a lot more massages and uh, the massages will uh, cater for all requests, should I say, all requests. So have a look in there and check that out. And of course, across the road over here, Suda's Court and just past Suda's Court. Oh, he's beep, 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 beep. He's not beeping at me, oh, he's beating to his mate. Uh, across the road there, over there, there is, is uh, Cheap Charlie's, and they've now got a place in John Tien, so it's a credit to how well they're doing. Uh, definitely go in there, you'll get some great food at very, very good prices. All right, so now we're heading at the main junction. Remember I said you about navigating the city, it's very, very easy. So at this junction here, if you used to turn right over there, that will take you up to third road. Uh, if you continue on, that will take you all the way up to the Paddy Glang. And if you turn left, where you see the motorbikes coming out from just then, that will take you down to Second Road. So that's where we're going to go. We'll just try and cover off as much of this place as we can. Let's turn left here. All right. Now, uh, as you go down here, uh, there's a few places you want to look out for. Uh, Area 51, good for the evening entertainment. Uh, Harry's Bar here, another place that's got a good re uh, good uh, reputation in the city for their food. You've got The Nest, used to be called Robin's Nest, now just called The Nest Sports Bar and Restaurant. Again, has a very, very good reputation. And of course, a place that shouldn't need any introduction whatsoever is the uh, here, the LK Metro. We'll come back through that in a second. Let's just go down here. Uh, Lee's Diner, been in there, some food in there, that's decent. And there's the Eureka Lodge. Out of interest, who stayed in the Eureka Lodge? What's your stay like in there? What's it like? Uh, I've never been in there to stay, so I couldn't answer that question for you, but I always hear reasonably good things about it. And of course, we've got a few of the open beer bars. These seem to be dying a death, not actually in like, terms of the fact that they don't get customers, but dying a death in terms of the fact that I think it seems like a lot of these places are going, like the Simon Beer Bar complexes have gone, Made in Thailand's gone, a lot of these places are gone now. Uh, so as to how long this will remain here for, I truthfully don't know. And what I will do before I do a U-turn is, let me just show you this place down here. Uh, Papageo, who remembers Papageo back in the day? Yeah, I had some uh, fun times in there. But down here, oh, sorry boss. Uh, down there, there you go. Right down there on the left-hand side, you will see Don Pepe and you will see Patrick's Steakhouse. 
both very, very good restaurants. Uh, I haven't actually eaten in the Longhorn Steakhouse, so I can't truthfully tell you what that's like, uh, but I'm told it's good. I've not any personal experience there. And the Beef Eater, again, I have no real personal experience other than I get a lot of good feedback. But I do have personal experience at this place called Papageo, and uh, sadly, it's no more. Used to have some right fun in there. It was a coyote style uh, bar. The girls would dance on the stage. And uh, yeah, it was always good fun. And there's that long, big, look, big, big old place there. Man, it's big. And uh, you see all these wires? So right now, the, uh, the city mayor is working his way around John Tien with the team. And uh, he's basically removing all of the, uh, all the, the not needed communication cables. You know, when you look like this now, you know, it is ugly, to be fair. It, is, it isn't, you know, ideal, especially when most of these aren't even being used. They're just, uh, they're just derelict. So, um, yeah, hopefully in the not too distant future, things will look a lot better. So what we'll do then, we'll head up now. We're going to go to LK Metro. And uh, at the time of making the video, Pulse has been open now a little bit. That's another good place. Go into there. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, this is a really popular nightlife area. It's a really good nightlife zone. And uh, a lot goes on in here. A lot. So you've got uh, Trench Town on the right hand side there. That's relatively new to this area. Uh, you've got Lady Love a go-go, Champagne a go-go. In fact, if I keep the camera straight, I can talk as we go past them. Uh, kink, kink needs no introduction. If you know about Kink, you know. If you don't know about Kink, get in there and find out. Uh, Pandora's. Now that's an end of, a, of, an, of an epic journey there. Ricky, who used to be known as the Godfather, has been here so, so many years. Uh, sadly, he's called it a day now and he's, uh, he's, left. he's left Pandora's. Uh, what an absolutely diamond geezer he really is. And man, that guy can tell you some stories. Oh my Lord. Uh, showgirls there, uh, Crystal Agogo, Queen Club, Queen Club. Again, another very, very good reputation. And straight ahead of you though, over there, that's uh, iRovers and Cafe Racer iRover's fantastic food. They have a golf society as well. And Cafe Racer, Jason, go and say hello to Jason. And uh, you won't be disappointed if you go in there. And of course, over here, you've got the Time Bar. Uh, go and see Apple, she's absolutely lovely. They do very, very good food. And uh, you can go in there have an evening. Plenty of entertainment, so pop in and go and see her. Uh, you've got Exotica, Boom Bar, Rumbreal. There's so many places here, it really is. And apparently, the city's dead. <laughs> Apparently we're done and dusted, it's never going to bounce back and yet there's more things going on now than there ever has been. Uh, there's the cave, go into the cave, uh, another fun place. Across the opposite there you've got the Fever Bar. Uh, this place is relatively new, now I don't know much about it, it's called the Barcode, uh, but I have seen some of his photos that he posted in Discord and I'll tell you what, they got a lot of girls. And uh, Catch Me, used to be called Touch A Go Go, it's now called Catch Me. And opposite, there you go, that is Pulse A Go Go. Uh, again, you know, these are great places to go in and enjoy. Uh, Sugar Sugar just up here on the right hand side, go and see Nick. Uh, he's the owner, lovely guy. And uh, again, another good place. The warehouse, not sure when that's gonna open. They're busy in there at the moment doing some work, so I don't know when that's gonna actually reopen. And of course, right next door, the Bronx Pizza. Two slices of pizza, 125 baht, jobs are good, and it's great food, great food. So just up here, now this is another place that's, that's uh, really hit the, market, hit, hit the area. And I, sadly it's not open right now, but Mayfair's. This place here is called Mayfair's. Look for the sign there, up there, there you go. Uh, Mayfair's has got a really good reputation. They're really doing well, and they're, uh, they're established themselves very well on the scene. Right, let's run the gauntlet down uh, the honey. I'll have to put the camera down here, because the girls. So you can come down this area here, and you'll get, uh, you'll get a massage. And the massage is basically, well, you know what I'm saying. It's one of those kind of massages. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of options there. And here you've got the Honey Lounge. Pop in and see Graham. Uh, Graham's a really nice guy. Pop into the Honey Lounge, go in there and say hello. He's open every day. And uh, always a fun experience in there. I can assure you of that. And uh, when you go in, you'll come out and you won't be disappointed that you went in, that's for sure. Uh, so you go up here, talking about the massage, soapy massages. So you've got the Honey Massage. Now this one I'm told has reopened. Uh, so again, if, it, uh, if this is the sort of thing you want to put on your tick list, then uh, put it down, go in there and experience it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And if you're not sure what a soapy massage is, uh, as I may mention in the other video, get into Discord and have a look guys, it's all there for you. All right, so uh, we've got a few restaurants down here now. And uh, of course, right down the very end, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll show you this place at the end. 
uh, you'll know about Hemingways. So Hemingways, there's two Hemingways. There's one in Zhongtian and there's one here, which you're going to see. This used to be the old Retox Game On. Who remembers those days? Uh, but now it's called Hemingways. I've, I've been in that interview with the manager. And uh, again, another very, very good place. Great food, lots of sports. And uh, they've done a fantastic job in there. They really have. So there you go, that's Hemingways there. So if you want to watch your sport, uh, they, they cover pretty much all the sport that's available and they do a fantastic selection of food in there. You won't be disappointed. All right, let's turn around. We head back up Soy Honey, then we'll have a look around Tree Town and uh, we'll see where we are. What are we up to now? 14 minutes, oh, that's okay. I've got to say, like the suggestion to me the other day was, and the reason I'm doing this, is people said, mate, your walks are brilliant because they, they're more detailed and, they're take, and I take my time. But could I throw in the odd ride around once a month uh, just to showcase things and cover the area in a lot more detail? So I thought, well, what we'll do is we'll do that. And uh, hence yesterday's video and today's video, I've been out guzzling the juice. And uh, the price of fuel, price of fuel now, seems to be talking about the juice. The, the price of fuel is uh, increasing here as well. Uh, where are you going, my friend? Not sure where this person's going, just gonna sit there. Okay, he's reversing, all right, cool. Um, but yeah, the price of fuel is uh, naturally, as you can expect, gone up. And you can still get your bottles of fuel. You'll see sometimes on the, uh, when you're walking around, you'll see sometimes the green and the uh, orange bottles of, uh, of fuel. It's called Nam Man. And uh, when you go to those, you can pick up one for like 20, 20 to 30 baht. And uh, they're okay, they're okay, no dramas. Fantasy Lounge over there, it's a Lady Boy Bar. And the Tika Center next door. Annie Jacks, Annie Jacks is a good place. Uh, lots of girls in there. The Rock Factory. And then remember I spoke to you about Marissa. Well, there's Marissa's other place. There you go, the VIP Health Massage. That is the next place. So there we go. And uh, here's your Western Union. If you need to transfer money, you can come here, get your transfer in the Western Union. And what we'll do is let's have a wander around inside uh, Tree Town. Let's, uh, let's go in here. And uh, I'll show you about Tree Town. Tree Town is gaining huge momentum right now. It really is. And you know, there was a lot of speculation back in the day saying, oh, it's just a hype because everywhere else is shut. Um, and you know, and that, that was a fair, fair, fair shout, to be honest with you, because we weren't really sure. Nobody really knew, um, but all I can tell you is of an evening now, uh, Tree Town is picking up great momentum. It really is. There's a lot of very, very good bars here. A lot of very good bars. So uh, yeah, let's hope it continues and let's hope that uh, more and more bars come into this area and uh, give you more options when you do come out here. But I would definitely say go to Tree Town and uh, check it out. Obviously right now all the bars are closed. I don't like doing the nighttime walk uh, videos. I don't like catching people in bars that don't necessarily want to be seen on camera. So it's just my own personal personal thoughts. Um, I know there are other people out there doing the nighttime walks. So good luck to them, you know, they can carry on. But for me, uh, it's, a, it's a no go. All right, so here we are. We're heading back down the other side. Uh, not being in this place, I've, I've had mixed reports on this one. And sadly, this was a Mulcatar place that just genuinely hasn't got off the ground. And of course, here you go, here's Escape and the Buzzing Bar. And uh, we're doing all right, to be fair, we're doing all right. It's been a, uh, hello, sweetheart. We're, we're doing all right. It's been an interesting journey. Obviously, we've had to keep changing and keep trying to readdress what we were doing and try and you know, go with the flow. So now, uh, if you go to the Buzzing Bar, that's open from 11 o'clock in the morning through till the, uh, till the closing time. And then we've got, uh, buzz, uh, we've got the uh, Escape A Go Go. And that opens at seven at the moment, at the time of making this video, and goes on through again to uh, the closing time. And in there, uh, we've got a lot more girls now. We really got kicked in the teeth when we opened. We were hoping to get 100 girls. We were told and promised we would get 100 girls. And uh, sadly, we only had about 40. Much to the joy of the trolls. But anyway, there you go. But we are getting there and it's moving guns and blazes, so all good. Okay, so now we're just heading up here. Uh, we're near the s the old Archon Ben, which is now Witherspoons. Uh, pop in and go and see Dean, lovely guy. Always welcomes you with a smile. And uh, they've got two places. They've got this one here, and then next door, what used to be the old Archon, there you go, is now a much bigger Witherspoon. So Dean, go and say hello to Dean. He's a really, really nice guy, genuinely nice guy. Go and say hello to him. Again, if you want your hair cut, there's a lot of barbers here and massage uh, shops here. 
So if you are wanting a, a haircut, you know where to come. And you can get a haircut for like a hundred baht here, full job. And just along here, here we go, if I pull up slowly here. Just, oh, sorry boss. <laughs> I'm trying to run the man over, sorry buddy, sorry. Uh, so down there, there you go, you see that is the local Gansi Phil. Really nice guy, popping in hello to him. He's a genuinely nice guy. And uh, we're gonna head up now. Ooh. Okay, taking me life in my hands here. Uh, there's Jason's bar, Churchill's, that's Jason's bar. Go and say hello to Jason Mariner. He's a character, he's a larger than life character. And of course you've got the Marquee Bar here, one of my favorites, I like going there every evening, it's nice to just chill out, have a few beers, get left alone, no hassles, nothing like that, it really is a nice place to go to. So I won't turn down, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll go up here, uh, what's the best way to go? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we, yeah, why don't we just get to the top and we'll wrap this one up for today. So I don't know guys, what do you think about these drive rounds? Is that a yes, is it a no? Uh, a lot of people seem to prefer my actual walkabouts where I can go into more detail about each and every bar and each and every location, which I get. Um, but I don't know, if you like these, I can throw some of these in uh, once a month, just give you like a more of a speedier update so you can get to see around the city and see what you think. But uh, let me know guys, drop a comment below. What do you think? Is it a yes or is it a no? As they say, it's up to you. All right, so let me just pull over here. Oh. All right, so there we go, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, like I say, if you want me to do more of these, I'm more than happy to do that for you. And we can go off around Naklua, go around Jomtien, do all kinds of different areas. So let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you've enjoyed that. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Check out Discord. Uh, we're getting there strength to strength. It really is a fantastic platform for huge amounts of information. So have a look on there. It's totally free of charge. And if you would like to support the uh, channel and the work that I do, uh, there is a link in the description below and membership starts with as little as 89 pence a month. So there you go. That's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.